question process. Good afternoon and welcome to another SCP on SAP topics. So what we want to do in this topic basically is to talk about reversal process steps. So what are the different reversal processes step which we can do in SAP? So we want to talk about how do we create inbound delivery, outbound delivery with WM, with packing and post good issue. We, how do we create a material number? The material number is uh, 3366. So we'll, this material should have material uh, view and uh, sales view and uh, and also warehouse views because we want to integrate with the warehouse as well. We're going to create a sales order as we always do transaction code VL01. We're going to create delivery. Now there are different ways to create delivery. You can create VL01N, you can create VL10G and you know different other ways. Uh, we're going to create transfer order for outbound delivery. There are different ways to create a transfer order. You can create single document processing VL02N. You can create outbound delivery monitor VL060. Um, then we also, after creation of the transfer order, the next step which I want to do is basically confirmation of transfer order. So that is another step which we want to do. You can confirm transfer order using LT12, or you can confirm uh, using collective processing, which is outbound delivery monitor. So there are multiple options to do that. Then uh, we have a post good issue. So we can, uh, we'll do goods issue. Goods issue, we can do as uh, individual processing, VL02N. We can do collective processing, VL, VL06G. Uh, we will also verify stock, verify material document, and uh, various other steps which we're going to do. Then we're going to do the reversal of the goods issue. So many times what happens is um, there are issues. We did a good issue and we want to reverse it. So how can we reverse it? And then how can we reverse the transfer order? And then we verify the process. So this is our exercise for today. So let's create a sales order. <clears throat> so we log in to SAP. This is our material. And then uh, we create a sales order, transaction code VA01. And using transaction code VA0, we enter the order type OR 101000, hit enter. It's a regular standard sales order, nothing different, nothing unique. Any of our standard um, customer we can use. So we use our uh, customer, hit enter. And then we enter the pure number. We enter the material number. And let us say we enter the quantity 10 pieces. It's a regular order, it's a regular sales order, nothing different, nothing unique in this sales order. We enter customer, we enter material, we enter quantity, your number, your date, and it's a regular standard order. And then we save it. So we create a sales order, we are saving sales order. And after creating saving sales order, next step is to credit delivery. So this is our sales order number. We can make a note of it. So we, this is sales order number. And after creating a sales order, the next step for us to create a delivery. So when we create a delivery, there are multiple transactions. So we can create a delivery VL01N, which is the single document at a time. So we have a shipping point and the selection date and order, and we can put certain dates into it. And we said that this is the date, and then we hit it. And then we can enter different, uh, and we create a delivery, and we say it's a standard uh, way of creating outbound delivery in single document processing, which we have seen before as well. We are not, we are looking at collective processing also. So we go back, 
and here we have collected processing and we'll go to VL10G. So we'll create a outbound delivery using collective processing. So there are multiple transactions to do a uh, different way. You know. So that is um, always the case. So we have a shipping point, we sell from the state to whatever day, some date in the future. So we can enter here. We enter, we can take the parameter out. We take a delivery block off. Then we enter the sales order number. Now, why anything sales order number? Because if you don't do that, then system will pick up all different sales order, which we don't want. So we hit execute. So, so this is uh, different transactions which has appeared activity for shipping sales etc and uh, this, this is one six we can select them some of them and then we say okay we want uh, to select this is the if you verify one six five eight four and in the bottom, this is our sales order. Now, when you're creating a R1 delivery, there are two options. We can create in dialogue. We can create in background. So we create dialogue, so we can see it. We create a dialogue, and then it take you to the delivery steps. Then we go here. We go to uh, picking step. So after creating delivery, next step is to create a picking. <clears throat> we enter the store location, double zero, double eight. Now, if you see here, transfer order step is blank. It's not relevant for transfer order. Okay. Hit enter. Now, after that, um, state has become A. So, the moment I enter the store location 0088, it become A. <clears throat> so, then it become A. That basically means the WM transfer order is required okay. that is what this basically means wm transfer order is required so because now system is telling us that we can create and uh, and now we save the button And then we are creating a delivery target. We save it. And now we create a delivery target. See the message in the bottom? Delivery 8001748484 has been created. Okay. Now, if I want to go back to the delivery and I want to check this delivery, so we can go to um, VL02N. And we can check this delivery. Yeah, so delivery number is here. We can make a note of it. Now, after uh, delivery is being created, so this is a delivery document we have created using outbound uh, delivery monitor uh, using um, collective processing. Now, if I want to create a now the next step is to create a transfer order. So, how do we create a transfer order? So, there are first we can uh, create a single document processing or using outbound delivery monitor. So this is my delivery. So I go to VL02N, this is my delivery. I go to subsequent function and I can create transfer order from here. So create transfer order. And then from here, I can put my delivery number. I can put my plant. And then I can hit execute. And then it's stock in foreground. And now we have a, our quantity, system pick up the material. And we can create this is the one way we are not doing it so after that hit enter and we can say we are not doing that so we want to 
I exit out from here. I just want to show. Now I want to go to in the picking section. In the picking section, we have a create R1 delivery. And the another option for us to create transfer order is to use LT03. So this is LT03. So we can go to LT03 and we can create a delivery. That is the second method. And then we put delivery number, we put the plant, and we reach the site. So that is the second method of creating transfer order in which we can create a transfer order using transaction code LT03. And after that, we go into um, in foreground and we hit enter and we hit save. So we can save the transfer order. So this is second method of creating transfer order. Same purpose, same meaning, same business uses. We come out, come out. Do you want to exit? Yes. So we don't want to do that. Then we have a, there is something called LT42. This is collective processing. Now, in collective processing, it is being used if we have a, some kind of a group. If we create some kind of group, and then uh, we can create delivery for a group. So I have a video in which I have created a group, and for the group, you can create a transfer order. So there's another video which is there creating a delivery group, and then you can create a transfer order for the group and that is why it is called collective processing where multiple deliveries in the group is being considered. The next here is outbound delivery monitor. So we go to outbound delivery monitor. Now we enter the shipping point. So now here, this is the another method of creating transfer order. Now this is creating using outbound delivery monitor. So here we have a, um, uh, you want IM label, WM label, uh, you want header information, line item, so we want both picking type, IM also, WM also. If you wanna enter the group, we don't have a group. If you wanna enter order, you can enter order, or you can enter the date from today's date to this date, what are the deliveries which is pending, or and we click on it. When you click on it, system will give you all different deliveries. So this is the deal number 8001748. And if we see the delivery, that is a 17484. So now we have got this delivery. So now what we are doing, we are creating a transfer order for this delivery. We select that. Then we create TO and foreground. And then we hit enter. And then we say generate TO item. And we select that and we save it. See the message in the bottom. Transfer order 10002444 created. This was another method of creating transfer order. So we look at another method of creating transfer order. Now, after creating transfer order, next step is to confirm transfer order. So now how can we confirm the transfer? There are multiple ways for that also. The first is to go to individual processing LT12. So let's look at that. So how do we do that? So we go back. So we close this button and then we have here confirm transfer order. And in the confirm transfer order, we have something called single document LT12. So if you go to LT12, I can put my transfer order. This is the transfer order. We can make a note of it. This is transfer order. And we make a note of the transfer order. Save it. And after we make a transfer order, if we hit enter, and then we can save it. But in this warehouse, in this transfer order, for this date, and we are confirming. I'm not confirming that. So I'm just showing you. After that, you save it and you're done. We are not doing that. We hit back. Do you want to exit? Yes. And we hit enter. Now here we have something called 
VL06 by outbound delivery monitor. We have here outbound delivery monitor. We go to shipping point. And here in the shipping point, we can put a date from this date to this date for this shipping point. Outbound delivery for the confirmations. How many deliveries are there for confirmation? And we click on it. So only one. So this is the delivery we created 8001748484. And this is what the and we select and then we go back here and we confirm to in the foreground so we say confirm hit enter and then we hit save so now we have confirmed transfer order using outbound delivery monitor so that was another way of confirming now this become green now, after confirming, if I want to go back and check the delivery, so if I go to VL02N, and then here, if I see the status, and then here we have a fully confirmed and transfer order confirmed, the status becomes C, and my picked quantity has been updated. So my delivery quantity, picked quantity, both are exactly same. So that is the pick quantity. And the uh, and the pick quantity R. So now, after that, what do we do? Next step for us to do the post good issue. Okay, let's do the good issue. So now, what are the different ways to do goods issue? We go back. We close it, and then we have a post good issue. Now, if I want to do good issue. What do we do? So we can go to VL02 and, and then we click on the post good issue. So this is one method of doing good issue. We select delivery and then we do good issue. <clears throat> so that's the one way. And uh, that is the simplest way. Now here, this is the collective processing. So now we can do post good issue by a collective processing by a outbound delivery monitor. So now we are again going to our one delivery monitor and it's in which we are doing the good session. So we select that. We hit enter. Now, before I do that, let us verify the stock of this item. So let's verify so we can verify stock. So we go to MMBE. I put this material 33366, this plant. We hit enter. So we check the stock, how much we have. So in this historical location, double zero double eight, we have a 222 pieces. We have 222. Okay, we back. Now I, I again go back to the outbound delivery monitor. We enter the shipping point. Then we hit execute. We get our delivery. This is the issue date. And uh, this is the customer sold to party, etc. Then we select that, and here we have a button for post good issue. So now we are doing post good issue using outbound delivery monitor. We put it here and we hit enter 10 pieces. We are doing outbound delivery for 10 pieces. See the message in the one successful and zero incorrect good moment. And then on the top, we have a green. So it become green. That basically means we are able to do good issue. Okay. Now, because we are able to do a good issue, then what happens? If I go to check the stock, MMBE, and the last time, we have the 222. Now this become 212. So 10 pieces are gone. So 10 pieces are gone. Now, after that, if I want to go to delivery, so if I go to delivery VL02N, and here, let us say I have a fully picked and fully confirmed. And um, if I do good moment, and you know, we have a you know total good moment is also completed. So we have done good issue also. Now, what happened if that there is a problem? 
that we did a good issue and a mistake. So that is what the purpose of this exercise is to basically do the reversal or cancellation of good issue. So how can we do the reversal and cancellation of good issue? So here we have a transaction code VL09 in which we can do reversal and cancellation of good issue. So here transaction code is VL09 and that is the reversal and the cancellation of good issue. So we can do that also. Reversal and the cancellation of good issue. We can do. So how do we do that? So that is the that is what we will be trying to do. So we have a reversal of cancellation of the good issue. Okay, let's do that. So here we have a transaction code VL09. VL09 is a transaction code for doing the reversal and cancellation. Now, reversal and cancellation, there could be many regions. Sometimes mistakes happen. Sometimes there's a user error. Sometimes there's a user problem. And for any of these issues, and because any of these problem, there is a um, there is a problem, and because this is the problem, so how can we take care of these problems? And that is what this basically this come into the picture, and that is where the cancellation come into the picture. Okay. So that is what we are trying to understand, and that is what we are trying to get an idea. Okay. So now we go to VL09. In the VL09, I have a, this my shipping point. This is my delivery. And then I say this is the reverse good movement. So I'm reversing the good issue. And then we close on it. Now here system says that on this, this is delivery document. And uh, this is the where the good issue was done, which is uh, December 10th, 2022. And if we save it, and uh, do you want to reverse it? We say yes, reverse good issue. We do reverse. Do you want to reverse the good issue? Yes. Hit enter. So we are doing reversal now. Now see here, good issue for delivery 8001748 has been cancelled. Now, once it has been cancelled, and if I want to go and check the inventory again, we have a 212. If I go to inventory, if we check the stock, now we again become 222. So inventory came back. Okay. So if I want to, after that, check the delivery status, so if you want to go to delivery status, VL02N, and, um, and here I have a fully picked. And if I go to good movement, the A status come back from C to A. Last time it was C means completed, now it is A. So we are able to reverse the good movement. And apart from the reverse good movement, there's one more thing which you want to see. There is a picking process here. And if you go to picking, then here we have a cancel transfer order. So many times what happens is we can also cancel the transfer order as well. Because many times when you do the picking, you, you committed a wrong picking and the picking was for a wrong material or what, something different or something else. So we can go to LT0, LT0G. Then I put my uh, warehouse number, I put my delivery document and this moment type 
So what we're doing, return to stock from delivery. So we're returning material and we hit execute. And then we select that. And then we say, and we have a put away in the foreground. And then from here, we can specify where do we want to send this material? Let us say in storage 001. And I wanted to send that material back into certain bin. So in the warehouse number 001, storage type 001, because where I'm sending the material back now. So we say, okay, I'm sending it is in this bin. And the moment I'm 999. Confirm immediately and we say adopt. So we are able to send it back. So that is how we can basically perform our creating sales order, create our one delivery, confirm transfer order, verify status, do the post good issue, reverse cancellation of good issue. And reverse transfer order. Okay. Reversal of the transfer order, which we did was transaction code LT0G. So this was the transaction code LT0. Reversal of goods issue, we are zero. So that's what we're going to talk today. Thank you very much. And thank you for joining the session. Talk to you soon. Bye.